What is up, YouTube? What's up, Frifters? All right, last ride along, I didn't find as much as I would have liked. I didn't find the categories of the things that I like. So we're going for a bit of a drive. Bit of a drive to scratch that thrift itch. So we're gonna scratch that thrift itch. We're gonna do a ride along. We're going to Melville. We're going to Melville shops. We're going to, uh, it's the uh, best way to describe it for everyone that doesn't know, Fremantle area. So kind of Fremantle area. That's where we're going. We're gonna try and check out two or three. I'll probably only get time to do two today, but uh, two is better than fucking none. Better than a kick in the dick. Of course it's better than a kick in a dick. Let's scratch it. Let's scratch it, guys. Let's do it. Let's do this. Why is it so hot still? Fuck. Let's do it. It's right a long time. Come on. Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to Upshop Town, don't have a dog shit day. So ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift away. Guys, this good Sammy's, this good Sammy's here is usually a pretty fucking damn good one. We're going to try this one out. Um, hopefully, we only have to do one op shop for a shop today. That would be fucking brilliant. I know what I'm looking for because I know what I'm good at selling. But let's also look at the shit that I don't know what I'm doing. I've always got help from two Aussie thrifters and Game On Couple, uh, Look Mum Hustling, freaking everyone, Dory of a Flipper. Fucking, there's so many, uh, Game On Couple, did I say that? There's so many, uh, good channels out there that, uh, help each other out. And we can be in op shops and, and just give each other a text. And we'll help each other out. So I know what I'm looking for. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It's not a dog shit day. No dog shit days. Let's do this. Let's scratch that thrift itch. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alrighty, this is probably going to be another day of you guys in the comments helping me out. But the first thing I looked at here was uh, in the magazines that were like 50 cents each. Um, a lot of workout magazines and fitness magazines in this one, but always have a look. You never know if you find some old game magazine for the uh, fucking nerds out there that love that shit. They'll pay fucking top dollar for that crap. You never know if you'll find a fucking uh, old uh, computer game magazine. Uh, not many toys, not many toys at the moment still, uh, a bit dry on the toys and the games were still craptacular as fucking always, no I don't want Bratz, no I don't want 2004 fucking AFL game that's old as shit, so no good, some Wii games there but yeah, that a dollar on all the DVDs at this place, that was a little bit better, but um, no wonder they were a dollar, they were fucking shit. Absolute dog shit. So I didn't take any of them and I moved on to the clothes section. Which is now becoming my favourites. And look at this fucking, look at this uh, Sylvester. $2 baby Looney Tunes. I picked that up for my dog. My dog has already humped the shit out of that. So um, yeah, she fucking loves a good old Sylvester root. Uh, so I moved on to the uh, clothes, but before, oh, no, you always got to look for the bed sheets. Always got to look for the bed sheets. You never know what you're going to find. I found goosebumps that time. So a little look sees through the, uh, through the uh, jeans. I could not find anything. I'm still looking for these fucking nudie jeans so I can make a diary of a flipper, uh, Brad, do a full beer skull. But uh, could not find any. And I could not find any from our bingo list. If you haven't seen the bingo episode, go back and watch uh, bingo. And uh, play some bingo with us. But I couldn't find any. And um, I'm dropping shit all over the place. This pair looked alright, to be honest. Um, this pair looked alright. I'd never heard of this brand or any of the other guys 
talking about it. I can't even fucking remember what the brand was now, but uh, if you know that uh, logo, you'll be able to tell me. I couldn't find anything on comps. Now, uh, this Wiggles doll. It was actually a pretty cool Wiggles doll, the girl one, but it was too big. Good price, $2, but uh, too big to post if I sold it. There's Smurfette. Do you know how many fucking uh, Smurf dicks have been in Smurfette? I ain't fucking picking her up. She's filled with Smurf jizz. There's a Sesame Street uh, plush toy. I wanted three bucks for that. I wasn't paying three bucks for a fucking plush toy. It was pretty cool. I didn't know what the character was though. I'd never seen that one. Ninja Turtle with... Uh, I wanted two bucks for this Ninja Turtle. Uh, no headband. I don't even know which turtle it's meant to be. I can't buy a fucking naked turtle. There's Papa Smurf. Slam Smurf out a few times. So there was uh, not many good uh, plushes. Always look for the Hawaiian uh, shirts first. See if I can find a Mambo Loud. I'd love it if I can find one of them. For bingo, but I don't. But look, skis, what I find right meow. What I find right meow. Yes, I couldn't believe it myself. I don't know if it's worth any money. But I didn't even have to fucking look this prick up. Look at that. Bang! Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama. I don't know if it's worth any money, but I got a thrifting erection and that went straight into my cart. Couldn't believe that I seen it. So I kept on looking through the clothes. A lot of the same brands, same old shit. And I did look a lot of stuff up and nothing was worth it. Uh, not worth my time. Tommy Hilfiger shirt. I didn't take this one. Let me know if I was stupid for putting that back or not. But I just, I just couldn't really find anything on comps, and it looked like a pajama top, like uh, the boy in the striped pajamas. So I didn't want to buy that. It looked ugly. Port Adelaide shirt, fifteen dollars. Fuck off. I wouldn't pay that. No chance in hell. Fucking Port Adelaide. So I started going for these uh, t-shirts. I thought that was a Harley Davidson one. I nearly fucking uh, jizzed in my pants there, but it wasn't. Unfortunately, but that's okay. I kept on looking. I kept on looking. It was This store was actually pretty damn good. I found some good stuff in there. I found this. I'll show you this tomorrow in uh, uh, Show and Tell, but I found this waffle. This is the West Australian Football League. This is the West Perth Falcons probably haven't heard of them unless you live in WA, but uh, they'll fetch me about 40 bucks for that jersey uh, for the local team. It's hard to find the local ones. Also find this Nike T90 uh, shirt, really nice. Uh, extra large or extra, extra large, I can't remember now. Uh, but um, yeah, I'll, if that doesn't sell, I'll keep it. So that was a really nice material, so that was worth picking up as well. I'll show you that tomorrow once over. Seen some price, there was a few fucking dingleberries hanging off it, but that's okay, we'll cut them off. Look at this fucking skirt attached to this friggin' uh, shirt. Is it a girl's, is it a girl's uh, shirt, or is that uh, meant to be in the men's? I don't know, you tell me. So yeah, we go for all this crap. Oh, I fucking, I enjoy going through the shirts now. Don't ask me why I like it now, it's a bit of a thrill. Thought that was a Gene Simmons from Kiss, uh shirt got a little bit uh, happy there but uh, unfortunately it wasn't and uh, tell me if I was stupid for chucking this one back for five dollars but I chucked it back this Jimi Hendrix shirt and I wasn't confident wasn't confident and at this stage in my uh, thrifting clothes uh, career if I feel inside that I am not comfortable getting something yet until I've made the mistakes and you've told me on these videos I'm not going to pick something up so we're a team guys we're a team tell me this Cabbage Patch doll was a 2014 Cabbage Patch doll I was hoping it was vintage and it wasn't uh, they wanted fucking eight bucks I think it was was it eight bucks I think it was eight bucks or nine bucks I'm not sure Okay, so you would have saw that I found a Tommy Bahama for your mama shirt. No idea if it's worth anything. We'll find out and show and tell if it's worth anything. If I didn't watch Rally Roots, I would not know what that fucking brand is. Still don't know what it's worth because I've got to research it. But I found it, six bucks. If it's not worth anything, shit happens. Shit happens. So 
So I only found three things in that store uh, that cost me 16 bucks, but I also got this. This doesn't add to the kitty of my spending. This uh, baby Looney Tunes uh, Sylvester. I could probably get some more right money for this, but um, I'm gonna give this to the dog. It was $2 and the dog loves it when I give uh, her a new plush toy. So she's getting a, uh, she's getting a buddy. She's getting a buddy. Right, let's go to the next, uh, let's go to the next thrift shop. It's only around the corner. Shit, wonder what time they fucking close. It's 4.30, let's go. All right, we're at the Salvos. All these fucking stores are gonna close because it's 4.30. I left it till late today. That's okay. Let's have a look what we can get. All righty, this op shop was fucking shit. So overpriced. It was overpriced to the max. I just couldn't believe it. It uh, really... When you go into these ones and you drive all the way to them, it leaves a fucking sour taste in your mouth. Um, not as sour as seeing that uh, West Coast shirt uh, with a Premiership cup on it. 15 bucks, suck a dick, fuck that. No chance in hell. Um, way overpriced. This Cleveland, um, I think they wanted 15 I can't remember what. The, but anyway, look, at the, look how fake it is. This is a Bali jersey. This was ten dollars to buy in Bali. Ten Australian dollars. They wanted fifteen bucks for it. Fifteen dollars. No chance in hell. They're fucking dreaming. Learn your fake sporting goods shirts. So I went into this Vinnie's. This Vinnie's was actually pretty decent, but they were closing up in ten minutes, so I had to do the old rush. Nothing worse than rushing when you're looking for the clothes. And there was some cool stuff. I left this Tweety Bird shirt. Would you have picked up this Tweety Bird shirt? Uh, I didn't pick it up because I didn't think it would sell. But now, while I'm watching it back doing audio, it probably would have. And I probably should have grabbed it for $5. That Beast shirt looked pretty cool. But this is the problem when you're uh, rushing and they're closing in 10 minutes. That Jaws shirt was pretty cool. But I'm pretty sure that was fucking a $5 shirt in Kmart in the first place. So I left that. <laughs> Excuse me. I did find a shirt, as you can see, the bottom left hand of the screen there. Uh, I did grab, and I'll leave that to your imagination to think, what did I grab there? I'll show you that in show and tell tomorrow. Um, I went over to this uh, op shop, and the bastards were closed. They were fucking closed. I thought they were going to stay open a little bit longer. Everything closes at 4.30. 4.30 in the afternoon. Fucking dickheads, man. Alright, so that was okay. I only got four items. Um, I was very, very limited on time. Kind of fucking bullshit, really. But, um... That's alright, because I haven't, uh... I actually haven't filmed, uh... The show and tell for... Yesterday's episode... So I am going to do that tonight and I'm going to film yesterday's episode's show and tell and today's episode's show and tell all in one. Uh, seems as I didn't hit many here today and only got four items. So we'll add all that up and that'll be in tomorrow. So basically this is a bonus, uh, bonus ride along. Bonus ride along. See we're scratching, we're scratching that thrift itch and we're going out multiple days. And he's looking at clothes and he's buying fucking clothes. I'm interested. I'm interested to see how much uh, that Tommy Bahama for your mama uh, shirt is worth. So we'll find out on tomorrow's episode, which I'll look up tonight and film. Um, cheers all for watching. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like if you haven't liked yet. Or just do what the fuck you want because it's your life. Alright guys, I'm out of here. Like, subscribe, thumbs up. Do what the fuck you want. Go back and watch all the other content. Uh, tomorrow is going to be show and tell. I'm still available. Um, I'm on holidays for another week. So hit me up if you want me to come on some of your lives. I can't do them all. I can't do them all. Calm fucking down. But I will try. Because a few people have asked. I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. And also leave me in the comments, there's a lot of clothes 
I do not know what they are. So leave me in the comments. Tell me if I need to be grabbing that shit and looking it up because there's so much brands. I don't know. I'm still learning with the clothes. But it is actually fun flicking through. It's fun flicking through. I like to use the old little yellow pages fingers and flick through the old coat hangers. All right, this is it. Stop talking. I don't want to talk anymore. That's it. Like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. I'll see you tomorrow for show and tell. Goodbye. Yeah. Come ride with me. Let's thrift, let's thrift all day.